All right, so we're doing some training here. So what, what Marco is doing is he's simulating, he's pushing water into that chamber. And we've got a rubber bladder here. What you would do is you'd lower this flow meter down into the manhole. And you can see those two holes. So this is a, a sewage flow meter. And, uh, okay, danke. Okay. And so it surcharges into the manhole. And then you'd have a small little compressor to inflate your rubber bladder because the rubber bladder is over there. And the rubber bladder is what's holding this WCS sewage flow meter in position. And you can actually see the rubber bladder uh, through this junction. You can see it down there. And so the rubber bladder is what's holding it's physically holding the flow meter in position. No calibration, no fancy setting it up. I mean, however long a time it takes you to lower this down into your chamber. So you could have a, a, you know, a rope or two chains and you could lower this down. And now when you're doing leak detection or flow control, you can measure sewage flow with a portable flow meter for sewage in different diameters. And all of your data goes to the WCS control box and in here, you could have pressure, flow, sewage. You could put anything you want into this. And he even gives you all the wiring uh, pinouts. So you might have a 4 to 20 milliamp um, input. But this thing is specifically configured for this flow meter. All you need is a small little compressor or a hand pump, a bicycle pump. Uh, and you pump up that... Uh, there, there's a bladder that keeps it in position and your sewage and then you could leave it there for a day or two or a month uh, in the chamber because your sewage is going to just go out and go back and it's going to discharge you know out i'm talking sewage flow meter but elegant i love the nivus german flow meters they're probably the best in the world but they ah oh man you need a Doppler sensor you need to know the height of the you need it you need to tell it the shape of the, the ch you need to tell it so much stuff whereas with these ones you tell it nothing because it's calibrated for this time at a pipe so in this case I've got a 300 millimeter pipe but I'm using a 200 millimeter stainless steel um, flow meter and I'm reducing my flow from 300 through a 200 so I'm going to probably have a little bit of uh, uh, you know build up at the back i might even have a, a bit of surcharge if there is surcharge then i'll have to increase the size of my flow meter but generally going from a 300 down to a 200 generally isn't going to give you that problem and you've got very 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 accurate flow control uh, i'm at the european pipeline center in austria <laughs>